2004 Nissan Xterra. Okay, so on this one right here, uh, customer complaint not working. I was called in uh, suspicious of some O rings, I guess because they seen some dust buildup. And if you look down there, if I could zoom in, let's get down there and let's see if I could get this glare out of the way. Well, if you can see down there, there's a little bit of dust buildup. Let's see, strike it with my finger. Can you see where I just cleaned? So there's a little bit of dust residue there. That fitting right, let's get my fingertip, and it's not clear because it's way down there. That fitting going into the compressor, what is the high side discharge, the fitting at the crimp where the hose is, that has oil residue on it. Now, factory put in UV dye. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can. That's what I discovered about this Nissan. Their uh, Nissan Luminous Oil Type R uh, from the factory came with dye in it. But I could never, I mean, a few times, just a few times I was there. This is a big gusher. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, show you how big this leak is. So this must got loose. Do you hear it? Here, I'll move it around. That's how loose it is. Let me turn it off. So the fitting is tight. The bolt is tight. The high pressure hot gas line is tight to the bulkhead of the fitting and the bolt is tight. Just the low light, like somebody leaned on this or something like that, or maybe it vibrated loose, but uh, there might be damage to the actual metal fitting because with this vibration, uh, everything is still except for this, then that can actually damage the tube, so the tube might have to be replaced. And what else? Okay, so we're gonna go for a hose. Oh, let's get back to this uh, luminous oil. So there is absolutely nothing, and I could see the oil everywhere, but there is no glow, and this is the Conroy. The Conroy is a very good one. Uh, my UV beast, it's buried under a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't want to go for it. But this is a uh, Tracer Line products. This is one of their last versions, the Opti Pro Max. They got a newer one that's even more strong. More, that wasn't really good English, but good enough. Um, but the UV beast still beats them all. And there's nothing glowing anywhere. I went inside to look inside the fittings. There's no glowing in the fittings. And uh, the dye, whoever, Nissan used doesn't always work and that's why I always recommend tracer products right, AC extends is my other backup one that I use a lot of too AC extends and tracer line um, so that was an easy one I didn't even have to bother I got the vacuum pump on because every time I use my gauges I always vacuum out and clean my gauges so I'll vacuum these down they just got dry nitrogen went through them in a positive pressure in one direction and it all came out here they were vacuumed down to 800 microns prior to me getting here from five minutes away from my last job. So I'm about to turn on the vacuum right now and vacuum them down below 100 microns to get ready to go over to the other shop to the next job right up the street. And uh, that's how that works. That's why my hoses are always clean and dry. And uh, then the periodic uh, high pressure alcohol and nitrogen blowout to clean them out occasionally when need be. Close that, open that, open that. And while I do my paperwork, I just leave it on here while I do my paperwork and it's the last thing I disconnect and let it get all the way down and clean. But that's it on this Xterra. Dry nitrogen, not shop air. And uh, just to get a line, a receiver dryer, and we'll go from there. Uh, compressor spins, all that. So, um, there's no, the, the leak is so big that I can't even test the rest of the system. I'd like to pump it up and uh, even if it was a slow leak, but it's not a matter of tightening. It's uh, the lines messed up. All right, see you guys.